was agility. Now we're going to go up to the apothecary. He'll take you to the rune crafting area, which is this place over here. Basically, rune crafting is not bad money. It's good money starting out. Um, you just basically click on the the altar. And it will give you a random amount of money, say between two and five thousand. And it'll give you five blood runes each time. And that's about it. So we're going to go back to home. Check out one of the other areas. This is um, the hairdresser where you can change your looks. You go to haircut and you can change, you know, look at that hair sticking out. Awesome. That's me. You can uh, just, you know, change your face or facial features, um, male, female, you know, different clothes and stuff. Okay, these three people here. Um, actually, we'll come back to those after the skills. So, this guy here, he'll take you to the slayer area. Don't kill the bug thing over in the corner there. These gargoyles, if you Usually the best method to get Slayer is to bring prayer pots, protect from melee, just, you know, nail them down. Level 88 Slayer, I've been working on it. I'm getting there, trying to get to 99. I don't know, I'm just helping this person because obviously they don't know how to go to the forums and read the guides. I'm just going to look up the item ID. Okay, they've left. Obviously I'm not going to look it up for them. Okay, we're going home now. That was the sleigh area. On to now. Okay, so typing commands will bring up a list of commands that you can have. Um, reset is when you've got experience on a skill that you don't want. That will cost you five mil per skill. You have to take your arm off also to reset it. Guides, I've already said that. No XP, um, that's when you're like, you know don't want any more experience on a skill so you turn it off while you're training marks, um, I think that'll check how many black marks you have the add xp we've already explained the leave chan, I think that's what it's some channel thing, that's all stuff um, alk, that's um, how you get the magic, if you type that just there then you drink the chalices and until you get to 25 magic then use rock tellies until you can use camelot teleports then use um, a drugan I think that's how you pronounce it teleports until 99 it doesn't really take long, a couple of hours kills will tell you how many kills you have um, sell um, it's the same as the buy option with the you know the sell item ID amount um, check total will check how much money you have empty will clear anything in your inventory Backup will make sure that your account is saved in a different place. It auto usually auto backs up, but it's good to do that also to save your account. We can, we can also go commands two, and that will show you. You can click that to you know AFK. If you do that, you like sit on a little chair and you'll be AFK. Click that to be back. Um, that to go barrows. When I say click, 
tight those in your little bar thing. KDR is kill death ratio. You do that to see many kills, kills to death, you know, and the ratio. Um, close. Don't know. <laughs> Summon is to go to the summoning area. What you do at the summoning area is you buy the pouches, drop the pouches, then go down to your little tab down here, and then dismiss them, drop another one, dismiss it, drop another one, dismiss it, etc. Um, home is to go back to the GE. Switch is for the magical spell books. Um, for lunar magics, you need 20 defense. I may I may be corrected somewhere, but just yeah. And for ancients, you need 50 fire making. The buy function, um, I already explained that. Guide, I explained that. Smithing um, takes you to the smithing area, where you buy the ores and then smith them. Mining takes you to the mining area. Um, in the mining area, you'll start mining really quickly. Your stats won't actually go up until you bank the ores. It's kind of like a glitch thing that you know needs to be fixed, but it still goes up pretty quick. A jungle, don't know. Updates, I don't think that's ever updated. Um, shout function, um, you type in shout, and then you type in what you want. And it will say it to everyone, no matter where they are. Thieving is also another little skill that um, is really good for money at the start. It's not that bad. Um, I'll show that in a sec after I've gone through this. Um, that one, you go to Bounty Hunter, which is a place where you'll get full drops instead of the randomized drops. Um, the password, you can change the password and stuff, but I don't know if you want to. Okay, we're going to go Thieving. Use the Baker's door for cash. So click on it and it will give you 10k. That's 10k every time you click on it. Which I worked out, it's about 7.2 mil an hour. This gem store will give you potions when you feed from it. Which is um, just mainly probably for pures if they just want potions. Stuff, it's not really good money. We're going to go some of, to some of the areas that I was mentioning before. We're going to go to summon. What you do is you go to this dude, talk to him, don't trade, just talk. I think you start out with uh, either a Dreadfowl or the Spirit Woof, and what you do is you just drop it, it'll summon it, go over here, dismiss now, get rid of it, and then you drop another one, go down here, dismiss now, just keep doing that, and you'll go up levels. Recharge your points there if you want. Next one we're going to go to. Is smithing. What you do is you come to the smithing area, you go over here and you talk to him. And I actually worked out that if you want to, you could just buy one tin ore and put it down the bottom and buy the rest in copper. Then take the copper ore and put it in the furnace, smelt ore, and you do it didn't do it that time, but it will if I get it to work properly. By one tin ore. Oh no, I'm lagging. Okay, take the tin ore, use it with the furnace, smelt ore and it works this time and it will just continuously use that one tin ore for all of those copper so the 